Hello and welcome. In this video I will show you how to change the screen resolution of Elite Force 2 to your native screen resolution. First of all, I'm gonna assume you haven't started the game yet or made any major changes to the resolution or video settings at all. So I'm gonna start the game and there we go. First of all, I'm gonna reduce the audio volume Right. Then I go to the video settings and here I could change my resolution but the resolution I want is not listed here. So I can't change it really from inside the game from this menu. I can change it via console command which we will not do right now. We will just change the game from full screen to window mode, click apply, click on yes. Now the game changes into window mode and that would be the actual resolution the game is really using. This is not correct for this monitor as you can obviously see. So we are, go we are now going to close the game. Main exit. Yes. And then we will go back into the game folder. There we have a folder that's called base. We're gonna open it. I have sorted my files by modification date. The latest modified files are on the top. And here is my configuration file. For you that will be named different. Whatever your Windows user file is or account is, um, that file will be named after the Windows username or logon name, whatever. So if you have sorted that by latest modified files, it should show up somewhere on the top. Be aware that there are many other CFG files in the game folder. I have removed them all because you actually don't need them. But for a standard configuration, you would see many similar files. We only are interested in a file that was modified last and the file that carries your actual username. Now I want to open this file. Um, the software I'm using is called Notepad++, but you should be able to also open this with regular Windows, Notepad or any other text editor. In this configuration file, the game stores your settings um, like the screen resolution. So what we are now going to do is we are adding three commands or actually we are adding... Hang on. R mode. Yeah, we are adding three commands. So here we have the command for full screen. It's set to zero, which means it's in window mode. Now we're gonna add another command. Set a r underscore custom width and in r underscore custom width we will set the screen width. For my screen that will be 1920. Then we will add another command that's called r underscore custom height and we will set this for my screen on 1080 and that would make the game change the screen resolution under certain circumstances to this uh, numbers. Now, from inside the game you could see you can select only a certain resolutions. To use custom height and custom wide as your screen resolutions for the game, you need to add another command. Um, this command is also controlled by the in-game menu to change the resolution. So when you change the resolution in-game again, your custom height and custom weight will no longer work. So don't change it inside the game from now on. Okay? The command is set R um, R underscore mode and minus one. Alright. So as you can see we have R underscore full screen to zero. We have R custom width to 1920. We have R custom height to 1080. 
and we have R mode to minus one. This will enable the custom height and custom width. Now there's another command we are now gonna add. Set a um, user fuff. So that should be around 90. You will have to be uh, experimenting for the correct number inside the game. So you can also enter the user fuff command in the game while you are on the level and you will see it live changing uh, the settings for you. This will not affect the menus, so the menus will still look stretched depending on your screen resolution and there's no really an easy fix to this. But uh, fixing the models in game or the levels being stretched or compressed in the game can be done with user fuff. Alright, so we're going to save this file, then we will close it and start the game. Alright, that looks pretty much correct. So I will go on configure, video and switch the game now from full screen. As you can see, if R mode is set to minus one, the screen resolution will be the actual default resolution or at least it shows as default resolution, which is not correct, but the in-game menu cannot handle uh, the other screen resolutions correctly. So we go on full screen, then we click on apply. Yes, we do. And there we go. The game is now in correct full screen. All right, that would be it actually. Inside the game when we are now loading a level, let's, let's load a map. We're now inside a map. We can change the user fuff, user fuff, let's say to 140 and we will see the result immediately in the game. So let's change it to 90, that's still not correct. Let's change it to 95, still not quite, 98, 102, that looks about right, 108, mm, that's a bit too much. So let's see, 104, yeah, that's kind of that kind of looks okay. So if you have the feeling that the screen uh, width and height is now not so much compressed anymore as before, you can leave this user fuff. The user fuff will be saved if you instead use just the command fuff. Um, it will not be saved. Oh. Let's put it to 140. It works, but as soon as you switch your weapon, like the sniper, which I don't have here, or if you restart the game or load the game up again, this FOF setting will be gone. So please use the user FOF because that would be the correct setting. All right. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.